a checkered past, a gunfight that went down in history, and a devastating illness. The story behind Doc Holliday's final words is pretty surprising. Doc Holliday's life has been adapted for the screen on multiple occasions, including 1993's Tombstone. As a result, Holliday has become known for a handful of famous quotes, such as his alleged last words. Oh, this is funny. Of course, Holliday became an important historical figure due to his close friendship with Wyatt Earp, with whom he was involved in the iconic OK Corral shootout on October 26, 1881. Doc was born as John Henry Holliday on August 14, 1851, according to biography. His father, Henry Burroughs Holliday, was a pharmacist, and his mother, Alice Jane Holliday, took great care of Doc at home. Doc was reportedly born with a cleft palate and underwent extensive surgery as a baby. While the procedure proved successful, his speech remained impaired. Doc's mother, Alice, apparently spent her days performing exercises with her son to help improve his speech. By the time he was a toddler, Doc was reportedly speaking normally and living life like any other child. Tragically, Alice died from tuberculosis in 1866. The loss was emotionally devastating for Doc, but he also became obsessed with the wonder of medical remedies and reportedly threw himself into his studies. Doc graduated from the University of Pennsylvania Dental School in 1872 and officially became a doctor which is where his iconic nickname came from. For a time, Doc's dental practice took precedence over everything else, but when he was 23, he decided to move to Dallas, Texas, for reasons that remain unclear to historians. However, Holiday was forced to flee to the West after being charged with murder. Upon arriving in Dodge City, Kansas, he met former lawman Wyatt Earp, and the pair developed a close friendship, according to biography. Shortly after they met, Holiday followed Earp to Tombstone, Arizona, to start a new life. This is where the infamous shootout at the OK Corral took place on October 26, 1881. Earp's brother Virgil was the town marshal. Together, they restored a semblance of order to Tombstone alongside their brother Morgan and Holiday. However, according to history, a power struggle soon developed between the team of gunslingers and a bunch of cowboys known as the clanton McClary Gang. It all came to a head on the afternoon of October 26, when the Earps and Holiday drew guns against Billy Clanton, Frank McClory, and several other members of their gang behind the OK Corral. The shootout reportedly lasted for a grand total of 30 seconds, but the spectacle of gunfire and blood was enough to inspire epic stories for years to come. Most of the clanton McClory gang was wiped out during the confrontation, and the Earp team sustained numerous injuries. Holiday and the Earp brothers were initially charged with murder. However, they were acquitted a month later when Tombstone's judge declared them fully justified in committing these homicides. Holiday later parted ways with his friend Wyatt Earp and moved to Glenwood Springs, Colorado. Like his late mother, Holiday tragically developed tuberculosis, which only got worse with every passing year. Holiday was reportedly bedridden at the Hotel Glenwood when he died on November 8, 1887, after allegedly uttering his final words. This is funny. Doc Holliday's last words were seemingly a mocking remark on the situation. According to some reports, Doc had reportedly always told his friends that he was destined to die in a haze of bullets like a true gunslinger. Due to his waning health, it had become quite apparent that Doc wasn't going to have the high-octane death he expected. Even though Holiday didn't die staring down the barrel of an enemy gun, if his final words are anything to go by, he did die laughing in death's face. Another possible explanation for Holiday's famous last words relates to the idea that the doctor apparently believed he would die with his boots on, according to Visit Glenwood Springs. This version of events is brought to life in Tombstone. In this particular scene, Holiday looks down at his bare feet before laughing to himself and saying, I'll be damned. Oh, this is funny. 